Hi guys, it's me Anne and I know that you all have been asking me a lot about where I get my ceramic pots from. So I thought I'll do a quick video of how I buy my ceramic pots and how I repot my plants into them. They come in different shapes, different sizes, but I will simply buy a pot that's a little bigger. plants here. The first one is the Ficus Elastica Shiveriana and uh, this one is the Asparagus Densiflori also commonly known as the Foxtail Fern. It also has some uh, Oxalis Triangularis green ones uh, growing in it and I feel as a combination they both look pretty together. The last one is the Aglonema Viduri. But this one probably I will because this pot is really very small, I'm going to just get one tiny size bigger uh, than the pot that it's currently in. Uh, if you remember in my last video, I had shared how this pot is falling apart. It's just crumbling down. So I will repot it. I promised you all that I will be repotting it soon. So I took this opportunity to repot that into a better pot. I will probably repot it into half an inch pot that's bigger than this pot. Now this one seems to be very comfortable in its nursery pot so I don't intend to remove it from this pot and uh, plant it in another ceramic pot but I will simply buy a pot that's a little bigger and that will fit and accommodate this plastic pot in so I will just take this and put it inside that pot maybe somewhere down the line when this plant grows I will repot it into the same ceramic pot now the next thing to do is always carry a little extra cash so you have enough to buy when you are out there and you don't know how the prices are. You don't know if the nursery wala will reduce the prices or get it within the price that you have estimated. I am going to Majiwada Nursery. The nursery that I always talk about this is my local nursery and I buy most of my ceramic pots from there. the nursery and this is one of the places that I'm happiest at though it's really hot and I'm sweating but I'm here and you can see that this entire section is full of pots so you can see different varieties of ceramic pots they come in different shapes different sizes different colors and uh, different materials as well now when I entered I was a little distracted we went uh, looking at the plants and I've also picked up a few plants which I will talk about later probably in some other video Selecting the three pots that we've come for. I think I'll stick with the white one. I've got one, uh, my sofa is grey so I've got one grey pot that will uh, look good with uh, my sofa and my other colours at home. And uh, I've gone and got some uh, 
textures, different textures. So because I've selected white, I'm going for different designs and shapes and textures to add interest to the plants. Different sizes as well and shapes. So finally the shopping is done and I have bought these three beautiful pots. If you know me, I have a liking for pots that are white in colour. So I have gone and picked up two white pots and I have deviated from the white colour scheme. I've gone to grey here because my sofas are grey and uh, I can afford a few grey pots here and there in my house. You can buy pots according to your choice of colour. You can buy colourful pots, pots with patterns and designs as you want and as you want to decorate your house. The choice is entirely yours. But for me, I choose uh, plain colours, uh, plain pots and neutral colours and muted tones because um, I want the plants to be the heroes of the look that I'm trying to get. I want the plants to shine out. So when the pots are plain and white, the plants I feel look really beautiful in them. You will always get pots that are cheaper at your local nursery. And especially if you're good at bargaining, you will get a good rate. The normal MRP for these pots are around, this might cost 200, this one 300 to 350, the same goes for this one 300 to 350. But if you bargain, you can get your pots for considerably cheaper. Uh, now let's start with the simplest one, this one. And like I had told you before, the Vidori just goes in like this. The day I feel he fills up the pot, I will repot him into this. Now this plastic pot fits comfortably into the white ceramic pot and I feel the plant looks stunning in this white pot. Just have a look at that, it's just so good. So now that I have finished with this, it doesn't take me any time at all, I just had to pop it in. So this was good and easy. Now comes the difficult part. Now let's start with the Ficus Elastica Shiveriana. To begin with, I'm just going to press the pot a little to loosen up the soil and then I'm going to gently pull out the plant. Nurseries here in India pot plants in clay soil, so it's really difficult to get it out. You can see that the root system is pretty okay. The mud is good, there aren't any pests in it. I'll probably use up a little bit of this mud. I think that this looks really lovely and uh, I like the way that it, uh, the plain colours highlight the green, beautiful variegation of this beautiful plant. Now this has been with me for a very very long time, I don't know how many years and I don't think I've done much for it, I haven't repotted it or you know removed it from here, it was happily growing and I just left it, let's start. Now this is a bulbous for, uh, plant, so I'm going to go with the edges, I don't know how far the bulbs are spread. This is like, I think this is root bound, so I, it's high time I repot it. Okay, this is sliding out, that's good. Ooh, oh my. Check the root system out, just check them out, it's so beautiful and it's so full. Now the problem that I've encountered after unearthing this is that uh, this pot is too small for this plant. The mouth of the pot is really narrow and uh, I can somehow manage to po push him in and he will fit in. But I don't think it will be ideal for this plant at this moment. This pot will probably suit some other plant better. This one needs to be put into probably a taller pot where its roots will further grow and the plant will be healthier. Is I'm going to keep them keep them away, and uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to pot them into some other plastic pot. Uh, in his place, I will repot my angel wing begonia. As I'm digging up the soil here, I'm realizing that this soil is much more sandier, and it's not very clay like usually you get it in Indian nurseries. So I have. So I have my plant here, I'm going to quickly pot it up. So something is 
happened as I went along with this video that weren't in my control. And uh, I had to work around that and I got to repotting my angel wing begonia. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to water it thoroughly. coming with me on this fantastic adventure and buying these lovely pots and uh, I think that these plants are looking really nice in these ceramic pots. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you are new around here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and also share it with your friends. So I'll see you next week. Till then, stay green.